Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. With the addition of iOS devices to our lives and the increased size of storage on our iPhones and iPads, we are putting more and more of our lives on portable devices. Because we want to make sure we protect the data we have on our iPhones and iPads, we want to make sure we have a reliable backup. Those backups can be done automatically through iCloud, or you can backup your device to your Mac through the Finder. Both options work for backing up your devices, but there are limitations in each, both in cost and what type of backups you can perform. This is where iMazing2 by DigiDNA is a great addition to your iOS backup and device management system. iMazing2 allows for more flexible backups that you can schedule, choose your own location like an external drive, view backup history, and you can encrypt your backups just like you can in the Finder iMazing2 not only handles backups, but lets you have full access to your phone and all of its information and can handle two-way transfers of your files and data from the iOS device to your Mac and from your Mac to your iOS devices through either drag and drop or specific items that you select, including phone records and texts. But first, let's get started by taking a look at why you might want to use iMazing2 instead of or in addition to iCloud and the Finder. So here we are over on the Finder, and what I want to show you first is what you can already do with your Mac related to your iOS devices. So I've connected my iPad to my Mac. You can see it's over here, and it's mounted as a location, and I've got all of my information in here. And one of the things you can see is just information on software, and then right here we have a backups area. And there's a number of things that I can do with my iPad on my Mac. I can choose to backup to iCloud or backup to the Mac. I can also choose to encrypt my local backup so that it's all encrypted and safe. And then right here it shows me when my last backup was and the time and where it was backed up to. Now, a couple of things about these options. The first is you can see that backing up to iCloud or to your Mac is mutually exclusive. So I choose one over the other. Uh, so if I choose to back up to my Mac, then it stops that backup to iCloud and it's just going to make the backup happen on your Mac. So there's a mutually exclusive thing here. As you'll see with iMazing, we can choose to do both or multiple backups. The other thing too to take a look at is the fact that I only get the last backup. So if I went to manage backups and because it's backed up to iCloud, notice that nothing is showing here because I haven't backed up the device to my Mac. But it would show the last backup here if I did that. And the other thing is, is it will just do the last backup. I don't get incremental backups like I would with Time Machine. These are just complete backups of the iOS device itself. The other thing is I can only back up to the internal drive on my iMac or whatever device I'm using. I can't use an external drive. It doesn't give me the option to choose whatever device that I want to back up to. The other thing is with the different areas here that I can back up. So for instance, if I come to music, you can see here I can move music in and out of my iPad. Now that's because on this particular iPad, I'm not using the iCloud music. And so if I was using iCloud Music, I wouldn't be able to do this. If we come all the way over to, let's say, Photos, for instance, where I am using iCloud Photos, you see here that it says, hey, it's backing up to iCloud Photos. So that's how you access it. You can't access it here to drag and drop photos in and out of your device. And that's one of the things you'll see with iMazing is we have more options to do things like that. The same would be true with my files as well. Right now I'm not backing up to iCloud. I'm not using iCloud Drive here on my device. But if I was, this too would have the same message that says I can't back up that way or I can't get access to it. I have to access it through iCloud. So now that you've got an idea of what you can already do with your Mac, let's take a look at iMazing2 and just see if it is an improvement over what's there and it might fit your own workflow. So we're going to do that first by getting started by taking a look at the application and doing the download and installation. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription 
to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine. Published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.